Snipers, you have to see what's happening in the Bitcoin price today as we are heading towards our target of 50,000 US dollars, holding our support level here at 44,800. And if we looked at Ethereum's price action, you can see we have some more bullish behavior here as we are heading towards the top of this wedge. And if we break out of this, we could see a target here of over 2,000 US dollars. I want to talk about what to watch with the Ethereum chart because when we look at the Ethereum to Bitcoin chart, just as we predicted in our video yesterday, we are seeing strength to the upside breaking out of this channel and at this point if we get above this monthly open and the previous weekly open things to get extremely bullish for Ethereum. we have a lot of room to the upside here and that will also translate into us dollar value of course and then we'll take a look at bitcoin dominance heading towards our downside target back inside of this bearish channel and then others dominance of course cranking to the upside towards our target of 12.15 percent dominance we have a lot to look at today you guys are watching the snipers channel my name is naeem alabadi if you appreciate this content remember to like this video i first want to talk about what's happening with bitcoin because we have held our support here at 44,800 quite well so far and we are forming higher highs in my opinion as long as bitcoin stays above 44,800 at this point there is a high chance we could head towards our target of 50,000 us dollars where we might see some consolidation around this area but now we know we have this major support level at 44,800 which is extremely positive for Bitcoin now it is coming into the weekend and remember the weekend is the most manipulated due to CME markets being closed and so if we start to see Bitcoin fall below 44,800 then what I'm going to be watching for is hourly candles closing below this level if that scenario plays out during the weekend then we have to hold this previous all time high at 41,950. This was where we topped out before we started to consolidate in order for us to assume that Bitcoin will continue into price discovery versus it's just forming another higher high and more consolidation to the downside. And so those are the key support levels to watch for Bitcoin. But let's talk about what's happening to Ethereum because there's a lot of exciting things on this chart. You can see we have this new wedge pattern forming and we've already broken the previous all time high at 1440. And usually when you break an all time high, you never come back to test that all time high again. You continue into price discovery and Ethereum is looking extremely good coming into the weekend. If we start to break out of this resistance level, I do have that target here sitting right around that twenty one hundred dollar level in order for us to reach this and possibly consolidate around this area. And this also shows a lot of confluence with what's happening to the Bitcoin chart against Ethereum, because you know that we have all of this potential upside for this chart and this here could allow Ethereum to go to new highs. But we what we really need to watch on this chart, in my opinion, is how are we going to react to this monthly open? If we start to close hourly candles above that monthly open, in my opinion, it's a done deal. And then we can continue to the upside. And then we have this weekly open to go ahead and breach. Of course, that's going to reset at the end of this week. And so it's extremely exciting to see what's happening to Ethereum. And that also shows a lot of confluence with what has happened to others dominance after we saw Elon Musk pump Bitcoin a lot of the alts saw a downside pressure that took them below the monthly and weekly open but that immediately came back up and we even formed a higher high already so altcoins are looking extremely good and with ethereum being one of the only institutionally recognized altcoins especially with futures markets now launched in my opinion there's a good chance that ethereum could allow the altcoins to rally further up towards our target here at 12.15 percent dominance and then from there we can potentially consider whether we want to take profits or not or if this potential market structure may even break out at that point to new highs even beyond 12.5 percent dominance which was the high in 2017 when we saw the initial bull rally and so extremely exciting stuff happening on this chart if we look at ethereum dominance as well check this out i pulled this up on the discord yesterday we had a beautiful bounce here at that 50-day moving average and we also had this bullish divergence forming here on the four hour chart if we look at the rsi here you can see we did form a lower low in price action but a higher high in the rsi and so we do have some very good things happening with ethereum's dominance chart with ethereum against bitcoin and then of course the us dollar chart heading into price discovery things can look very positive for Ethereum. the only time that i would be concerned about what's happening to ethereum is if we start to come up above this and then break 
back down below this major support level. And so if that happens, then there might be more that we need to watch for. But at this point, things are looking extremely bullish in my opinion. And all we need as a confirmation is a break above this major resistance that could take us to 2000 US dollars for Ethereum. And then of course, the real confirmation will come when Bitcoin dominance here uh, continues to fall down with Ethereum rising back above this monthly open closing hourly candles above that will be the final confirmation and so far we've done very good bottoming out market structure here with a potential double bottom forming a w formation here as well and so in my opinion because we didn't form a lower low here things are still very bullish with the ethereum to bitcoin chart and we know the macro is extremely bullish with this chart because not only do we have a golden cross here but we also broke out of this extremely bullish symmetrical triangle that also dated back towards 2017 and so very bullish chart here what i'm really watching for with the ethereum to bitcoin chart and i only can show this on the poloniex chart is what happens when we break this 200 week moving average because we know that could trigger a parabolic breakout for ethereum but all of this has to do with what's happening in the micro time frames before we can go into the macro and at this point we do need to reclaim this monthly open in order for us to continue our bullish bias on ethereum now for those that want to win one of our book giveaways i do want to mention this if you want to win my favorite book on trading psychology, all you need to do is comment below and share this video and you guys can have a chance at winning trading psychology. And I'll pick a winner from our last video yesterday at the end of this video. But first, I want to cover this Kava USDT buy stop trade that I sent out in our Discord premium group. For those that are not in our Discord, the link is in the description below. This was a very cool trade that we took. And basically, as soon as we broke out of this channel, you can see I sent this trade out here at the blue line here, which was February 11th at 9 a.m. And we had an entry at 4.78 right here beyond this previous high that formed and basically with this chart we had this channel forming and of course we started to break out of this channel and i noticed that but when we came back below if we came back above this channel remember anytime a market structure breaches its market structure so basically this broke out but then it came back down inside of it if that market structure continues back towards the initial intention of being a breakout then Typically what happens is that market structure becomes invalid and the breakout continues. It's like what we saw here with Ethereum when we came all the way above this breakout channel, but then we came back below, broke the support, but then we reclaimed it. Eventually we came back up and never touched that support level ever again. And so the same thing happened here with Kava USDT and we sent that trade out here right at that breakout level and of course that was a buy stop order and that eventually resulted in very nice profits here over 15 percent profits because it's an altcoin once again these have smaller market caps and a lot more opportunity and then here's the other thing about this there was also a resistance level here the previous high here that occurred on august 2020 and i knew that that was there and that ended up actually being the resistance from the breakout and sometimes what you'll notice is when you're starting to break out of micro time frame structures you go into the macro chart to see what the potential targets going to be and because i knew we had a high here i could most likely assume that we would come up to either retest or break that high potentially form even a cup and handle and so these major levels typically act as magnets and that's why we saw this magnet straight towards that level and so that's another way to assume proper targets when trading and so very exciting stuff happening in the cryptocurrency market i'm super excited as long as bitcoin consolidates as i've talked about then ethereum dominance should be fine ethereum typically likes to follow bitcoin when bitcoin finally find like uh, finds a consolidation period uh, outside of these parabolic breakouts and so typically when you see these parabolic breakouts ethereum won't move but then when it consolidates that's when ethereum moves and that's exactly what we're seeing super exciting stuff happening in the market if you guys appreciate this content remember to like this video i will go ahead and choose a winner from our previous giveaway and i appreciate each and every one of you guys that's why i love giving away books because of course education is priceless and i'll go ahead and close my eyes and pick bam d Varsani. Nice, simple, comprehensive, impartial, unemotional, unbiased, pure price action analysis. Just how I like it and it's supposed to be. Not how some of your viewers want it to go. We always look to participate, not anticipate market moves as markets will do whatever it wants. Keep it up. Thank you so much, D. Varsani. You won the book. Go ahead and message me on Instagram. The link is in the description below and I'll go ahead and 
get your information to send you out that book. And if you guys want to participate in that giveaway, just comment and share this video. And that's it for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. And for those that are in a Discord, I'll go ahead and see you guys there. And exciting stuff happening, guys. Thank you so much. Snipers out.